again, Queen Cancer Tarot Channel and the collective. We are back. We are back. This is the extended for Cancers dealing with Leo. Okay, so I said that we are going to go right into looking at some heavy oracle. So I'm going to get right into the oracle for you, Cancers. We want to see what your person's intentions are for you right now, what their intentions are for you in the long-term cancers. Um, you know, basically, is this person going to, how are they going to choose cancer? Are they going to choose you? Are they going to choose the third-party energy, okay? Um, how are things going to end up with you and this person? Right. So let's get into the oracle. Let's give it a shuffle. This is the oracle that I created for this channel. one in the reverse cancer holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer in the leo So let's see what we have. Okay, we have. They have more than we do. They have more than we do. Okay, so this is literally somebody telling someone, or this is, I can hear someone saying, they have more than we do. So someone is like comparing their situation to someone else, okay? Um, and we saw this abundance here, Cancer, and we saw this person giving or, you know, giving all of this attention and all this time to their person but not really getting it back. All right, so there's an energy of somebody who's feeling um, a little envious that they're not getting the attention um, that maybe a friend is getting in their connection or someone else. It's like they're comparing, all right? Uh, we have the gentler side of me the gentler side of me. So, um, I feel like there's an energy of someone who I feel like there's someone who is again 
in cancer i feel like somebody who has been vulnerable to this person you've been vulnerable you've let out all of your emotions to this person and i feel like you feel like this person has taken advantage of you okay so we're seeing back and forth here and we also have eyes wide shut in the reverse cancer And when someone's eyes are wide open, they're seeing a situation. And when they're sh wide shut, it's like this person is, it's like the high priestess in the reverse. It's like they're repressing information that they know to be the truth, Cancer. And this is in the reverse. So I feel like this person is no longer denying a truth, Cancer. It's like this person had been going back and forth, and now this person is no longer doing this. So look, we have take off the blinders and the rose-colored glasses. Do you see what I mean? This person was um, avoiding a truth here, Cancer, and now they're not. So we have Cupid, and we have Embrace in the reverse. I feel like there's an energy of someone who is not really embracing the idea of, you know, let's be lovey-dovey right now. I feel like this is the energy of your person who's pulling back right now, going into hermit mode, not really wanting to fake it with you right now because they know there's a decision that they need to make cancer. And I feel like it's time for you to take the blinders off and take off the rose-colored glasses to see things, for, you know, for what they are. Under the deck, we had Deeply. I do feel like this person does have a lot of deep feelings for you, Cancer, but they do need to make this decision um, on their own. So we have abundance, Cancer. There it is. There it is. We saw abundance twice. We had the Empress and the Six of Pentacles. And we have yes in the reverse, Cancer. Again, this is an energy of not right now. Um, I feel like you've been giving to this connection, but I feel like this person... It's not the time. This person does want you, but not at this time. Now is not the time to give to this connection. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo, Cancer. Um, and I may do a free extended for you, Cancers. This is some energy that I do want the collective to hear. Um, but I feel like you are letting pride get in the way of um, letting this person make this decision. And we saw this in the previous reading. So it's important for you to not let pride get in the way and let this person, <clears throat> allow this person to make this decision. They are being honest with you. <clears throat> so let's see. We have door to personal healing and happiness. Number 34, this also is, num is seven, Cancer. Um, but yes, I feel like this is for you, Cancers. This is the door to personal healing and happiness for you, allowing this person to make this decision. All right. And we have the first chakra, Archangel Michael here, number 35, which adds up to number eight, Cancer. So yes, this is about your sense of stability and security. <clears throat> so, you know, this is about energies being able to flow freely, allowing people to flow freely. And with the number eight cancer, that talks about self-improvement and allowing this person to really work on themselves and uh, make the decision they need to make. You being secure, cancer. <clears throat> 
secure in allowing this person to make the decision, Cancer, that they need to make. And being secure in knowing that this person, if it's meant to be, they will come back to you. Okay? So there it is. Hmm. Oh. Improving health, Cancer. So I do see things getting better. I do see things getting better between you and this person. Um, but it's only when you are able to allow this person or to be secure enough within yourself to allow this person to make this decision. So let's very quickly, I'm going to get a different deck. Let's see what this person's intentions are towards you. Whoa. Okay. Well, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this person is um, very compassionate towards you. Um, they want to make the right decision. They want to do what's right by you. They don't want to hurt you, Cancer. Underneath the deck, the Ace of Cups, Cancer, they do want to start over with you. Beautiful energy. Tell me what this person's intentions are for you long term. What is this person's intentions for Cancer long term, please? Please, dear, angels and guides. Well, we have the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person has wised up Cancer. I feel like they want to protect you. This person is here to um, defend the connection with you. This Queen of Swords is a very protective energy, Cancer. Um, and it's a very honest energy. So I feel like this person does mean to be honest towards you. You have the Page of Pentacles here, Cancer. So very much this person is coming in wanting to do right by you. Okay. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this person wants to take their time. So. Good energy. Good energy, Cancers. Let's see what the final outcome is here before we... end this, tell me what the final outcome is for Cancer and Cancer's person. This is the Leo. Cancer is dealing with the Leo. Tell me what the final outcome is, please. Tell me what the final outcome is. So we have the Death card with the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the High Priestess. You see that? And the Justice card, this does represent honesty, Cancer. Um, this represents karma. Um, that's beautiful. And with that High Priestess, this talks about divine energy, divine um, this is like a divinely guided connection here, okay, with the Justice card and the, and the uh, High Priestess, with the Ace of Cups, and I'm sorry, with the Death card and the Four of Pentacles, this person is letting go of, I guess, keeping secrets, Cancer, I would have to say. Um, withholding from the connection. So, I feel like this person is now giving to the connection now. Let's clarify this. Let's clarify the death card and the four of pentacles, please. Okay. So we have the five of pentacles 
in the reverse Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and we have the seven of pentacles here so this is an energy of someone who is giving to or wanting to invest in the connection cancer because they do not want to lose you and with the five of pentacles in the reverse this does talk about things improving okay and we did get improving health here cancer where is it improving health that is that seven of pentacles and that five of pentacles in the reverse see um, so I feel like things are going to be getting better, Cancer. That is what that death card and that four of pentacles represents things changing. This person no longer being in that selfish energy, um, keeping to themselves. And underneath the deck, you have the ten of cups. This talks about emotional abundance, happiness, you and this person being emotionally happy and having everything that you want having all of your needs met cancer tell me about this high priestess and the justice card please tell me about the high priestess and the justice and we have the two of wands so there's an energy of someone who is um starting to make plans for the future they're starting to talk about moving forward they're not really moving forward yet cancer with the high priestess i feel like this person is still being quiet they're still praying asking the divine for guidance okay before they move forward seeking truth cancer with the three of pentacles under the deck, they are looking for divine guidance here. Okay, so this person is um, taking steps, but they're doing things in a very um, protected way. They're trying to be safe and they want spirit to lead them. Cancer, so beautiful energy here. Beautiful. All right, so that concludes the... Uh, message and also the extended which is this is a free extended for cancers and leo i love you guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other until next time and i will see you soon and we will be coming back with cancers dealing with the gemini coming up next bye